Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you how to transfer everything from your old iPhone to a new iPhone 14, 14 Plus, iPhone 14 Pro, or 14 Pro Max. And I'll walk you through step by step so we can get everything off your old phone to your new phone fairly simply. Now, the first thing you'll need is your Apple ID and password. You'll need that in order to sign in and make sure that you have that to get access to all of your different data. You also may need some additional passwords for things such as Twitter, Facebook, WhatsApp, or Google, or even other apps. They do this for security reasons, so you will need to make sure you have some of your passwords available. Now, if you're wondering what actually transfers, it transfers everything. Thankfully, it's been updated many times where it will transfer everything from your messages, if you're using iMessage, to your mail accounts, to Safari bookmarks, to WhatsApp chat, that's more recent where they actually move all of that over, as well as just about every every single login and account, and even your game saves if you're using iCloud. So if you have your iCloud library turned on, everything will move over. Or if you don't, this will still move everything over. So it's very nice and it moves contacts and more. Now, the first thing is if you're on the home screen on the new phone already, so this home screen here, but on the new phone, you'll actually need to reset the phone in order to transfer everything over. Unfortunately, after it's set up, there's no way to do that. So in order to do that, if you want to, and you're already on the home screen, just go to general, then go to down to transfer or reset iPhone, and then tap on erase all content and settings. Wait just a moment and it will show you everything it's going to remove off your phone. So just make sure that on, this is on your new phone, it will not affect your old phone. So just keep that in mind and you'll see all the things that will remove from here. We'll tap on not now since we don't want to do that. And if you ordered an iPhone from Apple, you may already have a get started button here that will back everything up. Now there's three different ways to restore your data. So you can use iTunes on Windows or you can use Mac and the Finder. You can use an iCloud backup and restore method or you can transfer directly from one phone wirelessly to another. I'm going to show you that method as it's pretty much the easiest way to get everything over there. However, you can back up and restore using iCloud as well and you can do that by backing up under your account name at the top. Once you've tapped on iCloud, tap on device backups and then you'll have the option to back up this phone. If it's it's not on already and then set up the backup. Once it's backed up, then you can transfer it. However, using this method, you won't need to do that. So now let me walk you through step by step. Now, now that we have new eSIM cards in the new phones where they no longer have a SIM card tray in the United States anyway, now you can move your SIM card if you're not in the United States. Otherwise, it will actually prompt you to do that. And I'll show you that in a moment. Now let's transfer everything over. The first thing we need to do is just slide up on the lock screen and select your language. Select your language and then automatically you'll either have a prompt on the old phone. And if it's not showing, which I set up purposely so I could show you, just lock your phone and then unlock it. And you'll see it says set up new phone, unlock to continue. So we'll tap on unlock to continue and then go to set up the new phone. It's going to connect to the other phone and then you'll have this camera option where you can scan the code that's on the new phone. So it says getting things ready. We'll give it just a moment and it says waiting for the other phone. Continue on your other phone. So we'll give it a moment. And as you can see here, we have an account we can select for the phone. So it could be you, could be a child that you have or someone else in your family or just a significant other. Go ahead and tap continue once you've selected them. And now you'll have to enter the passcode of your other phone, the same passcode you enter when you turn it on for the first time. Now it will take just a moment to activate and then we'll move on to the SIM card part. Now, if you have a physical SIM card, you can move that at any time. However, the iPhone will actually prompt you to put in an eSIM if you're moving from a physical SIM or an eSIM on a different device to the new phone. And it's pretty simple to do. So let's give it just a moment here. And because I don't have a physical SIM in the other phone, let me show you an example from when I set up my iPhone 13 Pro Max for me personally when I was doing the unboxing video. So this is what it looks like. Now, once your phone starts to activate and once it finishes, then it will prompt you to set up an eSIM. It will give you the option to transfer from another number or set it up later in settings. So what we wanna do is go ahead and tap on transfer from another phone. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then it will prompt us to transfer the number again, letting us know that it's going to turn the data off on the other phone and the physical SIM will no longer be valid. So we'll wanna go ahead and tap on transfer number 
Then we'll give it some more time and you can see here it says confirm transfer on your other phone. And so we'll go ahead and confirm that. So we'll go ahead and confirm that using a double click of the power sleep wake button as though we were purchasing an app. Once it's confirmed, then it will begin to transfer it. It will take just a moment and we'll give it a second here as it continues to transfer the SIM and it doesn't take long and it's pretty easy to do. So again, give it a few more moments. And you'll see at the bottom, it says connecting to your network. And in just a moment, it should actually pop up and tell us it's completed. And now it says cellular setup complete. And that's all there is to moving it. You can actually move it later on as well if you wanna move it to another phone. Now, once you've transferred your eSIM, we'll move over to the Face ID section. So we'll go ahead and set up Face ID. We'll tap on continue. And it's telling us how to set up Face ID. We'll tap on get started. Then we'll just use it here, put our face in the box here, and then we'll move our head around. And you'll see these little green lines to fill this in. Do that a couple times if you wanna use Face ID with a mask or don't use it, it's up to you. So we'll go ahead and set it up. So if we ever need to use that again, and then maybe just move your head around the other direction and it'll set it up. So it can take a few tries there. You'll see it says Face ID set up is, or Face ID is now set up. We'll tap on continue. Now we're going to transfer data from the other iPhone to the new iPhone. So we'll tap continue. And the great thing is with iOS 16 this year is if you have a future version, maybe a beta version, or you just have a newer version that when, than what came on the iPhone, it will actually prompt you to update the iPhone and then instead use an iCloud backup to restore. So we'll automatically update it for you. However, you won't need to do that if you're on an older version on your iPhone or the same version. So we'll tap agree. It will now set up our Apple ID on the new phone, so we'll give it just a moment. Once you're logged in with your Apple ID, it will say, make this your new iPhone, and it will show you everything that it's going to transfer over, whether that be apps and data, settings, Apple Wallet, or even your SIM card. You can also change this if you'd like with Customize. Tap Continue. Now it's going to ask you to add your Apple cards if you had those set up or anything from your Apple Wallet and you can actually continue setting these up or skip it until later. Now with the new phone, it's going to tell you about emergency SOS, where you have car crash detection as well as emergency SOS via satellite, depending on your country, and that it will be available later. So just if you wanna read about that, go ahead, and then when you're done, tap continue. Now it's going to begin transferring data from the other iPhone to the new iPhone. And this can take time depending on how much data you're using up on the old iPhone. So if you had a one terabyte iPhone on the other one and it's completely full, it's going to take much longer than if you only had, say, 20 gigabytes worth of data on the older iPhone. So this can vary from minutes to hours depending on how much data you have. But it creates a Wi-Fi direct connection and then transfers the data. So it will take a moment and tell us the actual time remaining. Now, as you can see, it says about 11 hours and it's slowly counting down. Don't be alarmed if you see this at a very large number to begin with, as it will actually come down quickly to a lower amount of time. So just give it some time and hopefully it transfers quickly. Now it says the transfer is complete. So we're done with the old phone, but before we get rid of the old phone, maybe you want to erase this phone. It will give you the option to do that and you can continue or tap not now. Now do not go into photos and delete things one by one, because if you have iCloud photo library on, it will actually delete photos on all devices that are tied to iCloud. So you just want to delete the entire thing. And if you don't want to do it now, tap not now, and you can see all your duplicates on both phones. They'll both come over on both. And if we go back to settings, then we scroll down, you'll see it says what's next for this phone and it helps you erase it. If you don't see those settings, you can just go down to general, go down to the bottom, as I showed you in the beginning of the video and reset the phone that way. But again, don't erase things individually as it carries across all devices. And you'll see my wallpaper has changed to a different one. So now we're done with the old phone, we'll turn it off and you'll see the new phone has the same thing. So we'll unlock it and you'll see everything's restoring. Now it's saying use this iPhone when sharing your location. If you want to do that, go ahead and tap on use. And then also if you need to set up cellular, you can do that now. Transfer it after, put in your SIM card, you can do that after the fact. We'll tap not now for right now. Let's go to our lock screens as all of them should be saved. So if we go back over to what we had before, it should be here. 
and you'll see this is the lock screen we saved. So everything is here just how we left it. Now, if I bring in the old phone here, you can see everything is transferred over from the background or wallpaper to the different widgets to all of our different apps. Now it is installing some apps and you'll see here the layout is identical in every way. So it's installing apps. It can take a while depending on your overall internet connection. Then you can go back into those apps, whether that be WhatsApp or something else, log back in and everything should be there. Your photos may take a while to sync though. So keep that in mind. If you have a huge photo library, it will take a while for everything to sync. Or if maybe you have iCloud with messages on all of that data has to come back to your phone. So it will take a little bit of time, but either way, everything should be back from your custom lock screens on iOS 16. If you're using that. So you can see here, the lock screens are identical. As I scroll through them, they're all the same. Everything's identical in every way, although the time is just showing it wrong. So I'll need to make sure that's correct. Either way, everything is identical and it's back to what you would expect. So if you want to get rid of your old phone, you can do that now. One other thing to note is if you're using an Apple watch, Typically it will prompt you that you've, you're on a new phone and do you want to transfer it? However, this can be a bit buggy from time to time. If it is a problem, this can typically make a backup on its own. Once it's done that you can actually go in and erase your watch, start over again. But usually if you go into the watch app, it will just prompt you to move over your watch to the new phone. Again, it doesn't work hundred percent of the time for me. But other than that, that's it. Now, if you want to use your other phone, you could actually use them at the exact same time. If you have messages turned on, you could use messages. You'll see it on both and you can just verify everything's here. When you're happy with that, just go ahead and erase the old phone and then you can give it away or sell it or trade it in or whatever you want to do, but they won't affect one another, but they are sort of synced in a way. So as you add a photo here, you'll see it over here and contacts and more as they sync through iCloud. And so hopefully that helped you move everything over from your old phone to your new phone and let me know how it went for you and what you actually upgraded to. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Of course, if you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.